Welcome to this video on the six physical forms of digital data. Digital computing involves using electronics to represent the ones and zeros of binary, the base two counting system of all digital data. These ones and zeros can take six different physical forms as they travel between and through the various hardware components of a digital computing system, including electrical pulse waves, positions of switches, including RAM and memory, patterns of magnetic flux, pits and lands or differing coloured dyes on the surface of an optical disc, including CD and DVD, etc. Radio signals sent over a wireless network and pulses of light sent down an optical cable. A binary data stream takes the form of an electrical pulse wave when travelling between the hardware components of an integrated digital system, such as a hard disk drive and RAM memory, RAM memory and a CPU, a MIDI keyboard and a MIDI interface, a computer and a connected printer, a router and the internet, and a scanner and RAM memory. Pulse waves are used because they are ideal for representing the on-off states of binary bits. When a binary electrical pulse wave signal arrives at a RAM, flash RAM or ROM memory module, or at a solid state drive, or at the CPU, the on-off states of its wave cycles are translated into on-off positions of millions of switches. These switches, which take the form of transistors, temporarily store the binary values. On the surface of a hard disk drive or a tape drive, ones and zeros are recorded as a pattern of strong and weak magnetic pulses. In the case of optical discs manufactured by a pressing plant, such as CDs and DVDs, a master disc is created from which copies are made. The master is created with a laser which turns on and off according to the data to be recorded. When the laser turns on, i.e. when a 1 is sent to it, it burns a so-called pit into the surface of the master. When it is turned off, when a 0 is sent to it, no pit is created. This area is called a land. A number of glass masters are made from the first master and these are used to duplicate the finished product. When the disc is played, a reading laser shines light onto the surface of the disc. The light takes longer to reflect from a pit than a land. This difference in the wavelength of the reflected light is recognised by the laser and a transducer converts the difference into an electrical digital pulse wave. CD, R and DVD, R and RW work differently by using a laser to change the colour of a light-sensitive dye which is spread across the surface of the disc. A reading laser differentiates between the wavelengths of the coloured dyes to recover the ones and zeros. Binary ones and zeros can be transmitted over a wireless network in the form of radio waves. This is how Wi-Fi and the cellular data networks work. Binary ones and zeros can be transmitted down an optical cable in the form of pulses of light. This is how the Toslink and ADAT formats work. The script for this tutorial, along with accompanying images, can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com. We suggest you subscribe at our YouTube channel and join our mailing list at our website to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber only extras. Thanks for watching.